Hello everyone, it's Epsa57, we're back again War Thunder Dev Server 1.69 to take a look at a new vehicle they're about to introduce. So we're going to be looking at the medium tank T95E1, America's new rank 5 battle rating 8.0 medium tank that comes after the M103 for various reasons, but let's just go with it. Its main armament is 90mm smoothbore, it's got two machine guns, one in the cupola and one coaxial. So you can hear I got a, a, a armor specs, specs but um, one, one thing I wanted to point out is that T95 in US history has silica embedded in its cast steel, so it's technically a proto-composite. Not so sure how Gaijin will, will model it in the game, not so sure if it's even uh, applying to the game because I, I, I don't own it and I can't test it in the battlefield, see if heat rounds actually stop it, actually stop on it, but who knows. So it's like Crew 4, it, got, it can hold 50 ammunition. If you look closely in the ammunition model, it's APFSDS because smoothbore gun, so it fires APDSFS, the fin stabilized armor piercing discarding sable. So here we are in the test range, you know, you can see how it looks like outside the garage. It's, uh, it does look like a mini M103, so that's, it could be one logic after the M103, but another logic is that we don't want to clutter up the patent tree line anymore. So it's gun elevation, it's 19 degrees, uh, one degree lower than the usual 20 for Americans, but you know, that's only one, no biggie. Gun depression is negative nine, also no biggie, you know, the usual is negative 10, and so it's negative nine now. And you know the Soviets have to deal with that negative five to negative two, so we got it better. Reload rate is 11.1 seconds, and that's quite fast. I mean, the 90 millimeters—that's about the standard reload rate for 90 millimeters in general. But you know, it's fast in the rank five, relatively fast, normal fast, especially when compared to T62. It's about the same speed as the T54s, T55s that I stated in the earlier video. And you can see here, it's quite mobile. You know, going forward, it turns relatively easily. Reverse is not too bad, reminds me of a Sherman reverse speed. And it's got neutral steer, so mobility is a good plus with this vehicle. Yeah, going back and forth, it's quite, it's quite smooth. I don't know, but the, I did neutral steer with the M60A2 with the video earlier, and it wasn't that great. I, I did that, this probably just my handling, but I don't know, the T95E1 was very smooth when I neutral steered it. Like I said, experience may vary. And I switched to HE. But I didn't really look closely at the penetration model of the two ammunition. I mean, I know APF SDS is quite good. I didn't know about HE penetration, so I just I just blindly just shot at the, the Panda 2 with HE and, and then just find out it won't work. So I switched over to Overkill and dealt with the Panda 2 the easy way. Little comment there, you know, the 90mm smooth bore. This, the T95 was, plant, was supposed to replace the M48 if proven successful. So they were trying new concepts, you know, all this weird armor configuration. The 90mm smooth bore. Oh, so I'm just firing the machine guns here and penetrating the side armor of Panzer IV C. So you know, the 90mm smooth bore is just one of the things they try to when they when they want a new tank. So that this this is what we're gonna go up for. And, and composites probably everything. And in the end, the trials that the trials show that the US didn't really want a smooth bore because the accuracy degraded too quickly or something like that. It just they did they didn't like the accuracy. So they switched back to the regular 90mm on the T T95 E2. And here is like I'm just showing you, you know, penetrative capability APF SDS straight through the Panther armor. No no surprise there really. But it's like I'm kinda of, I was kinda of surprised with the spall damage after it penetrated. I, mean, I don't see that with the British AP when I penetrate the Panther with the 20 pounder. APF SDS seems to have a, a bigger edge on that. So, and here I got the Tiger 2 in my range now. I'm gonna try penetrating the front armor. You can't really penetrate the front armor at long distance. I mean, it's yellow, so you potentially could. You potentially could penetrate through the front armor, the front glacis. But, you know, it's, it's yellow. However, you can penetrate the turret side, the turret cheeks, and the lower glacis. No biggie. Yeah, I'm just demonstrating here right now. I'm just just aiming, you see the green marks on, on the usual weak points of a tiger. And it's shooting down the transmission. And here's another thing about the spall damage that it managed to, to kill both the driver and assistant driver. If you remember my uh, T-34, the American T-34 heavy tank video a while back? When I hit the lower part, I can only damage the transmission without killing the driver and co-driver. So that really says a lot about the, dam the spall damage. And here it's like, well, if you get up close, you could quite likely kill the Tiger 2. And here's just me doing an off shot on the Yak Tiger and just managed to detonate around. So APDS FS is quite potent, but you know, I don't play rank 5 a lot, mainly because it's the balancing issues. Well, I play arcade, so that's a different story, but I, I just didn't really like 
part. I mean, I find it more enjoyable in Rank 2, Rank 3 anyway, so that's just my personal preference. But, okay, so basically T95 was supposed to replace the M48 Patton, the Patton, M48 Patton 3. It's just shooting machine gun. <laughs> and it, it just, it, it didn't, they didn't think it's such a very big improvement over the Patton, and like I said, they, they didn't like the 90mm smooth bore power. So they went with the M60 Patton in the end. But they did test the T95 a bit more after the M60 was adopted. And eventually they, they, adopted, they uh, made a turret called for the T95 E7 variant. And that eventually became the turret of the M60A1. So it does show a bit of a descendant there. But otherwise, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to press the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.